Let's see what this scroll image does. Go into Elementor and I'm going to bring in over here two columns in my section and I'm also going to reduce my section width or the content width to about there. Now click on here and we go look for that scroll and you look for this one called scroll image. You will see the EP there. It means element pack by BD themes, a great add on with hundreds and thousands and millions of widgets that you can be using. Ah, of course, not millions. Don't believe everything I tell you. All right. So let me show you what I'm going to do and then you'll start to get a better understanding of what the scroll image is all about. Right. Can you see what is happening over there? Right. So very typically what often happens is that we have a website, we have an entire site, and then maybe you want to have a copy of this site so that you can either email it to people or display it, which makes it very difficult, especially if you are not yet published or live. And the way you do that is you get an extension add on for your Chrome or whichever browser you are using or whatever plugin you prefer. And you can copy this. I use this one up here called full page screen capture. And when I click on this, it is going to go through this page and like the little Pac-Man, yep, 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 eat it and then give me an entire layout of this page. This is currently how it looks so I can zoom in. And this is very nice. If you've worked on your page, you need to send it to your client. But what if you want to display this on your site? Up here, you can download it as a PNG or a PDF. I would go for the PNG. And you'll also have to go and consider how big the file is, because usually an image like this downloads between four to nine megabytes, which is very heavy on most sites. So after you've downloaded it, I recommend you go in and you make it smaller, probably put it in JPEG up to you. Let's then go back into Elementor and now you can see what I've done. I've clicked here on my image and I have two of those web pages in here and I've chosen this one and I've added it and there are a few things that you need to do. First of all, your image size, you need to put it on full. Otherwise, it's going to appear blurry at all stages. This is what I've discovered. Try and keep it small. Don't make it your entire page because then you'll need to go for these huge ones and they are going to be very taxing on the speed of your site. You can change the width if you want to make it smaller, but I would rather change the column. And if you want to get rid of that, you just delete it. It will give you the default width again. You can increase the height. You can decrease it. And then you can even add a caption for it. Demo one. You know, this is what we often have. If you are a theme developer, you will have a demo for that. And currently what will happen if people were to click on this, it will open in a light box. You see, there is the little link icon that you will use for external URL. I wouldn't use that. I would either use this plus or the little zoom. Now you can see there is the little zoom and you can place it center right over here. So now people can find it there if they want to go and view it in a light box. You can also give it a badge. A badge is just like, oh, this is our number one product, something like that. I just activated the badge over here. And then in the badge over here, you can say number one seller, killer product. And then you style it a little bit here and you can offset it as well. And you can even yeah put it a little bit over there. Okay. I'm not going to use the badge. I'm going to remove the badge. This though scrolls way too quickly for me. And you're going to change that under style with the transition duration. I find anything, it goes up to maximum of 10, but you can type in something higher than that. But at 10, it is already going pretty slow, I would say, which is good enough if you just want people to have an overview of how that page looks. I like 10. I would recommend anything between 7 and 10 because that too is just crazy. Okay, it will go up and now I want to, ugh, I get nauseous just from watching that. And then you can add a border, a border radius. You can add a nice box shadow. Let's do that. I'm going to add some box, box shadow over there. Uh, reduce that to three. And then the color also reduce that a little bit. No, five is way too big for this size. Let's make it just a two and increase maybe this. Okay. 
looking better, looking better. And what else? We can style the icon as well. Let's give the icon a background. I'm going to make that white. And then the icon itself, let's make that our orange. And then I'm going to increase size. You'll see what I'm up to here. And then for padding, let's add 30. I'm just, then over here, I just type in 60. And then for padding, we can bring that down to 10. And the size also a little bit down. Nice. Good. And you can change topography for the icon style. Interesting. And if you were to hover over it, you can change the colors for that as well. Let's go change the background color if you hover over it. And then the text color. Good. Looking good. Let's go view it on the front end. And then preview changes. And you can see there it scrolls very nicely. And then when I click on it, it will open in a light box display over here. And I can just click off it again. Now I'm just going to copy it by right clicking, copy, then right click here and paste. And now I can do the same for this one by grabbing the other image. And I have to change it to demo two. Nice. And we have exactly the same effect for this. Scroll image works very nice. I've often thought about this kind of application. You know, people come up with these ideas. They do it in HTML and you get so jealous because you don't have coding skills. And then these add on widgets come along and they make the world groovy. Let's update it and just go have a look again on the front end. Nice. Right, let's have a few examples from the site by BD Themes Element Pack. This is the standard one default example that I just showed you. And then here you can have the badges. Of course, they had the offset applied. So that's why the badge appears at the top. Very nicely done. And then your image caption here. I don't like this styling, but you may find it useful. And then the light box, which we've talked about. When you click on it, it will open the light box. And then you have your external link, which I will use this icon for. You can enter your URL. If you click on it, it will take you to the, op the demo of that page. I need to load that one now. And then transition duration example. That one is going to make you just lose your food. And then things go slower. Ugh, okay, I got to stop there. I feel like I'm on a merry-go-round already. Nice little feature if you ever have to display these long, long, long pictures, especially if you have like a long brochure or a flyer, that could be a good idea to add it to your site. This is the scroll image. Hope you found this video useful. Please leave your feedback below. It's always welcome. And, you know, as the videos are growing here on websites for beginners, You'll have to hop over every now and again to the website if you get lost among all these videos because, yes, there are quite a lot now and more and more on the way. This is JP with Websites for Beginners. Hope you have a lovely day.